up what's up what's up hey you guys so i'm back i'm back and we gonna do this video so you guys this is a company i've never worked with before called black show hair this elastic band already came up in this lace front honey it's a 13 by 4 lace frontal deep wave girl y'all see those combs and that pre-sewn elastic band up in there so let's go ahead and see how this wig comes it's not that i don't care need to shut down to keep you out of my mind it's strange to be here alone yeah a place that we used to go all the time I need to do this alone So just stop calling me up Just realize that we're done Don't come back and I need to do this alone So just stop calling me up Just realize that we're done I won't come back I have dreams about us I just want it to stop Because I miss you so much I miss the way we touch And I need to make it stop But I still think about it all the time It won't stop until it's all Trying to save myself Don't wanna be here alone No, no A place we used to go all the time I need to do this alone So just stop calling me up Just realize that we're done Don't come back I need to do this alone So just stop calling me up just realize that we're done, I won't come back I have dreams about us I just want it to stop Because I miss you so much I miss the way we touch And I need to make it stop all right, you guys, so now that we've seen how the wig comes from Black Show Hair, I'm gonna show you guys how I cut the lace forward probably like the millionth time. Nothing too different that I normally do, but use these thread snips. Now, the unit does state that it is a transparent Swiss lace, which is not an HD lace. As we know, HD laces are a lot more transparent. They're very meltable, see-through, and so forth. Now, this is a more of a white type of lace, which is also considered to be transparent. And I'm going to definitely hook this lace up towards the end. But for the meantime, in between time, I'm going to go ahead and part over my ear right there. And I'm going to customize the wig to fit properly by taking my thread snips and cutting along that part that you see right there. This will definitely make the wig more comfortable. It will not ruin the wig as long as you cut in the desired and the correct spot. Now this is not always necessary on all lace wigs. However, if you are purchasing an average stock size cap, you will have issues that may arise like so. This is because it's an average size and each person's head circumference may vary. So therefore you may have to do a little bit of customization to make sure that the wig fits properly and also make sure that the wig looks like it's growing out of your scalp. So what you'll see me do is something different or not even different girl. I don't know what I'm talking about, but you'll see me do my norm. Now this is where the hairline is at, which I've parted. And because the hairline is a little bit further down and I didn't need all of that, I decided to just cut off that portion. Where the hair was at, it was very thin. It was more or less like their baby hairs, but I'm gonna go ahead and create my own. And as I stated, the wig you do need to customize and that's maybe with every particular wig. 
Each wig company is different and every size may vary. Now I do like to spray the hairspray in between the part that I've created at the hairline because this is the easiest method for me of installing a wig. But girl, you do you boo and apply it how you feel comfortable. You may not like my method and that's okay. Do something that's very comfortable and satisfying to your needs. Now that we got that squared away and applied on, I will take my thread snip scissors and I'm just gonna cut alongside the entire front area of where I created those baby hairs. Now normally you don't have to do this. I just do it because I just want to. And even though I might have cut all those baby hairs or hairs into the unit, does not necessarily mean that I'm going to be using them. But girl, if you wanna get baby haired up, hunties, then you can do as you please and hook your wig up. Lately, I have been doing a lot of baby hairs. Well, not really lately, but just past week. I don't know why, I just try to do something for everybody. And sometimes baby hairs are very appealing depending on how you place them and the particular hairstyle. And I have seen so many nice styles with baby hairs on the YT that why not replicate it, right? I'm saying, hey. I always use that elastic band just to hold down the baby hairs or front hairline as I do begin to style the unit. This is just regular elastic that you can purchase anywhere like your craft store, Walmart. Girl, all I did was sew the ends together, okay? And as you see that parting is 13 by 4 inches and I did bleach the unit and I also did pre-pluck it. And now I'm going to drench it down with some water which is also filled with conditioner as well. I don't just spray plain water onto any of my wigs because that will definitely dry your hair out. You always want to put in some conditioner in the uh, mix with the water. It can be leave-in conditioner, it can be just regular conditioner. Either way, you want to put any type of conditioner in there just so that way the hair will stay moist and not dry out. You can go to the Dollar Tree, honey, and get conditioner and I guarantee you that's what's in this bottle is the Dollar Tree conditioner. As you see, this hair does wave up really nice. I love an easy wig that I don't really have to do much on, meaning put heat to it. However, if you do wanna apply heat to this unit, you can freely do so. And just know that once you wash it, the waves or curls will revert back to their natural curl pattern. Now it's time for the baby hair reveal and voila. I do take my little baby hair edge brush and I do either brush or comb up the hairs because I don't necessarily want them stuck to my face. I don't really like them too stuck. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Even New York Tinted Lace Spray. And normally you can use this by spraying on the inside of the cap, but I prefer to spray it either on my hand or onto a surface. And then I'll take my makeup brush and blend it in like so. I do find this application method a little bit better than spraying it all the way on the inside of the cap, only because I've noticed that sometimes when spraying on the inside of the cap, you get a chalky residue look. So I just prefer to do it in this particular fashion. And to me, it just blends in a lot better, but each person has their own method of doing things. So as I stated before, you do you, boo, okay? But the color that I have is light warm and I did purchase this from Amazon as I love Amazon for mostly everything. Girl, I just purchased some new hair gel and I cannot wait for it to get here tomorrow because it's so hard to lay my own natural edges down. I don't know why, but that eco styling gel, I can't stand it. It doesn't work. My hair never lays down with it, but I just thought I'd share that with you guys. But as you guys see, look at the blend. The color is a whole lot better now that I've applied the Even New York Tinted Lace Spray. I hope you guys enjoyed this video for Black Show Hair. I will definitely post all of their information down below for you gals and guys. And also, let me know if you use tinted hairspray as well or tinted lace spray. I do like the Even New York because it does dry instantly, but I also do have some in the pump spray bottles that do need to dry overnight or with heat. 
but even New York is best I do believe in my opinion but like I said to each his own and it's your preference but let me know what you like down below or you use and let me know what you think of this very pretty wig I think it came out really really nice and I'm impressed for a first so on a scale of 1 to 10 I'm going to give them a 9 and I'll see you guys on the next one I love you all and I'll see you soon on that note make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs the video up Welcome.